All right, so you've got that great food product and you're trying to get into local farmer's markets, but you can't. Maybe because they are just filled and jam-packed and have no more space. Or maybe for some other reason, you can't get your foot in the door locally with farmer's market. So where else can you sell locally? We're going to dive into that right now. All right, so here was the question, and we actually got this one from a subscriber, and it was actually a really good question because a lot of times when you start a home-based food business, one of the go-to places that a lot of people would start with, and there's nothing wrong with that, is farmer's markets. But if there is not enough farmer's markets in your area, what other places can you go? Or maybe you actually apply to try to get into a farmer's market locally, but they don't have the space available. So what are some alternatives to selling local when you're working out of your home and you're trying to get your product out there if you can't get into farmer's markets? And that's a great, great question. So thank you, Maudine. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, if, if it's Maudine, uh, that came from our subscriber, Maudine. Thank you so much. Um, so here's a handful of different options. Okay. Any wing, any seasonally, every, of course, every year. And of course, every state has a variety of different types of festivals that they have going on from season to season. Now, She's uh, so she's in Florida. I won't specifically name the city, but she's out of Florida. And I actually lived in Florida myself for 20 years. And I know how the weather is in Florida. You have almost year round sun uh, aside from the days when it's raining. But when Flo in Florida, especially in the southern part of Florida, in the middle part, of course, it has a tremendous amount of different festivals. There are art festivals, music festivals. There are festivals uh, for pets, believe it or not. There are festivals for different food festivals that have actually nothing to do with farmer's markets. Um, so my my suggestion would be to go to Google and find your specific city and state and actually check it out. I'm actually going to send down below. There's a, there's a link. As a matter of fact, there's a website um, that has a listing specifically for different festivals, not only farmer's markets, but different types of festivals in different states. And you simply type in your city and your state. Uh, I'm sorry, your city, your, the city that you live in and the state that you're in, and that will pull up a whole bunch of different festivals. And these, all of these are always looking for food vendors. Okay. So if you want to sell a product, it's not necessarily through a farmer's market, check out that website, that link I'll put down in the description. And it specifically gives you a ton of a variety of lists of different types. Uh, there are also seasonally driven ones that are make, that come out specifically in spring. Uh, summer and even winter, believe it or not. Now I know down in Florida, there's almost a year round variety of festivals and different types of events that go on. Um, there's even an opportunity for you to get into some concerts. There's music, of course, festivals, some of the sporting events as well. You can always set up a booth. Uh, of course, you may or may not have to pay for a different permit for that, uh, but definitely check out those different events. Uh, there's a huge variety outside of the world of farmer's markets where you can sell a product locally and you don't necessarily miss out on selling it. All right, and now the other alternative to that as well, I'm actually gonna give you a link for the USDA, the Department of Agriculture has a fantastic link. They have a page on their site dedicated to listings that have been registered uh, with the USDA um, that is a food local food directory for farmer's markets. The reason why I say this is if you are in a certain, let's say you're in Orlando, if you are in a certain county or city, you have the opportunity to go to another county or city and check into the farmer's markets. Now, with that being said, you may potentially need another license or a permit depending upon your state. So find out for sure because every state has a little variation of this. If you go outside of your registered city or county and you want to go to a different farmer's market, there may be some type of an additional permit. Not every state is like that. Um, but you can definitely look into if there's a local one that's close to you and you can't get in, as your question was about, and something you couldn't get into that one or maybe they're filled. Always look for another city or county that's in the maybe a 15 or 20 mile radius and you may actually find about four or five other farmers markets where you could potentially sell your product as well. Now, the reason why it's really awesome to go to farmers markets instead of some of these different events uh, like a music or um, excuse me, or a food and festival type of event because a lot of times farmers markets, people go there to almost expect uh, food products. So they're really a great place to start if you've got a local food business uh, farmers markets are like the go-to spot. So I can definitely see why you definitely want to go to one. And if you can't get into one particular close, 
check out this resource I'll give you down below and we'll get you started there. So I hope that was helpful at all. And uh, if you have any questions about farmers markets or other places to sell, please do let me know down below and I'll hop on that question as soon as possible and I'll see you on our next video.